really glad you guys came out tonight. Um, a lot of you that, that follow us know um, I had wor worked on a, uh, had a Kickstarter for a solo record that I'm working on. And that should be out, uh, it's taken a while, it should be out uh, in June. Um, but about a year and a half ago I rented out my condo in Nashville and I moved out to Los Angeles to be caregiver for my father. He's going to be 92. And when I first moved out there, we thought he only had a couple weeks to live, but the guy's hung on and hung on. And, uh, it's been a year and a half now, and, and uh, he's going down. I mean, it's just a matter of time at this point. But um, it's been a really, really bittersweet to be out there with him because he and I have been very close my whole life. And uh, just to be able to give back to him, you know, just a, a small fraction of what he has given me um, over the course of his, his, my life is... Uh, something I would do again and again. Um, my father was a World War II and Korea War vet, and um, he's lived a really colorful life. He's a Pentecostal preacher, and just at 89, he finally retired from his church just two years ago. And um, he's, he was always been a really strong man, very, very strong and worker, hard worker. That whole generation just it, it is just such hardworking people. And um, so, one of the great things that, that's happened now is that in the evenings we'll sit around we have a routine and he and when i went out there i bought him this lounge chair because he had this really crummy old lounge chair and he didn't want to get another one i said i'm just going to get you one so i got him a, this really nice lounge chair and he'll sit in his chair and i'll sit on the sofa next to him and we'll i'll get him talking and he'll tell me stories of his life and some things i had heard before but then a lot of things i'd never heard at all and um so anyway i called I wanted Steve to come out. Uh, the whole thing was bogging down because I, I couldn't get on, on a, a, any kind of momentum or anything to do the record just because emotionally it's such a hard thing to take care of someone like that. And uh, I called Steve and he came out about three or four weeks ago and we wrote a bunch of songs. And I told him, I said, there's one idea I've got about the, you know, I've, I feel like I've kind of lived my dad's life again sitting on this sofa and him telling me from this chair. And it's like when he would tell these stories, he'd get really uh, animated and happy, you know, and just telling all these funny stories about things. And um, so Steve wrote this great lyric, and it's going to be on the record, um, but it's called Your Chair. Eleven years old and thirty-six Barefoot down Route 66 With all the things you did and saw You're still a hick from Arkansas Seventeen got in a brawl with some drunk marines, thrown in the brig a time or two. Eleven nation green tattoos. Well, I've been with you in the South Pacific, patrolling the Tokyo Bay. Landed a plane with a flashlight in a field of nine away. And when you run away, 44 Ford rolled into Bakersfield. We weren't scared. Me riding on the sofa, and you sitting in your chair. Scared me riding on the sofa, and you 
sitting in your chair She bungee dived Jumped out of a plane at 85 But you're feeling the pain in 92 And that's why I'm sitting here now with you and There never was a son who loved his father More than I love you To the South Pacific, patrolling the Tokyo Bay. Landed a plane with a flashlight in a field in Iowa. And when you run away, 44 Ford rolled into Batesfield. We were scared. Me riding on the sofa, and you sitting in your chair. Me riding on the sofa, and you sitting in your chair.